Hey guys, welcome to the video. So in this video, I'll show you how conversational AI works in Go High Level workflows. So I'm not going to show you how to configure it. I've done it in the past. It's in my channel. So you can see how I have configured conversation AI for appointment bookings and, you know, other purposes. That video is already in my channel. So go ahead and watch that. But in this video, I wanted to specifically talk about how it works in workflows and how it reacts to your messages to leads messages in if you have configured it through the workflows so let's go ahead and uh, go uh, to automations and let me just go to one of my folders so i can keep things organized and uh, let's call this conversational ai uh workflow or something yeah so i would say the messaging the conversation uh that the ai takes over it starts from a channel so i would say customer replied and i could say um if someone messages you in facebook messenger or instagram or live chat or any other uh channel that's available here that supports go high level communication uh i would just go with facebook messenger so when when someone messages you in facebook in your business facebook page and make sure the page is connected in settings and integrations what you could do is you could just add it to conversational ai so if I just hit advanced bot configuration, it's going to give you two options. The first one is personality. So here you can just write a prompt, just like how you write prompts to ChatGPT. So this is actually ChatGPT, right? This is based on OpenAI. So um, if you write the personality, that basically means that you are training the bot on how to behave with people, how to react to people's messages. So in this box, you could just make good use of the content here and then just say here's how to react or just you know be in jolly mood be professional uh, on a scale of one to ten one being the most casual ten being the most professional you can be a six you know so write everything you have and to be honest the the default text that go high level has once you hit advanced bot configuration is really good so you can just keep this on top of this you could just add your your bits right and here, here's where I put my instructions. So here's what you need to do. So first of all, you need to, you know, you need to say, ask the script question. So what question is it asking? So the question will be here. So I'll just, if I'm just putting some qualifying questions before I actually book them in, I will just say, what type of business do you own? You know, if I deal with B2B leads, if not, if it's a, like a local business, you know, if, if I'm configuring the conversational AI for local businesses, I would just do uh, what project can we help you with? And it's not like it's going to ask the same thing over and over. I mean, if the conversation keeps recurring for some reason, it's not like that the bot will ask the person the same question in the exact same way because that's already configured in additional instructions you can't repeat the same thing you know in a similar fashion so you need to spin it you need to ask it differently the sec if you have to ask it the se second time so here's where you can configure those things right so timeout means when the bot sends the message after sending the message it waits for one hour for the reply so if a reply comes in then the bot process it processes it and then sends it to the next branch so if i save it like this let me just say save it with a channel so if i save it like this you can see two branches so the first branch is no condition met so here once you put a question in it if the bot is not able to get an answer for this question this branch will be executed so the the contact will go through this branch if the contact does not respond after one hour then the bot will come here uh, you know, basically will time out, right? So you can't, what you can't do is you can't really put a go-to because a lot of people make this mistake and put a go-to and then if it times out, then it sends them to the same branch. So the bot asks the question again or, you know, takes over the conversation. That is not possible because this is what we call loop lock. If you do this, then the workflow will surely fail. And, you know, the first time the workflow executes, it's going to throw an error call. It's a loop lock. So you need to remove that. So what I would do is I would just say, I've removed this, first of all, and I would just copy this. And then here I would just put another conversational AI because as, as many conversation AI actions you put, you know, in the workflows, it doesn't really matter because they share data. It's like, a, it's like neurons. 
they talk to each other so the conversation that this bit had with the contact this contact this workflow will definitely definitely have that information so you can just do a uh, person hasn't replied for one hour follow up and then wait for one more hour so that's how you can do it so here if you could just add another condition saying that a uh, person has answered question and you will just do the person has answered the question that was asked or you know however you you like to implement it i'm just saying that this is this branch will execute or the, the contact will go through this branch if the question is answered that's all i'm asking here so yeah this is the branch right and then you could just put another conversation ai bot here ask a second question right so you can just do uh, the second question before you actually give them the booking link or stuff so i would just do uh is it residential right and then you could just create here uh like th this is another one right so person has asked uh, answered the question so it, it totally matches with this question as well and if it times out what you could do is now it it doesn't go to a loop lock because now i'll just make it a go to and then send it here so it's not a loop lock if you think about it so loop lock would be if i literally sent back to where it came from that would be a loop lock so now we're just making a go to to the follow-up so you could just call it a follow-up and then you know uh this is this is a q2 so this is the second question you're asking this is the first question you're asking and then you can you can just keep going and all these will have data all these will have information about the conversation that this entire workflow is having with this particular person so you don't have to worry about if the if if the contact goes through this branch the conversation or the answer to the first question will be lost no it it's not like that it's not how it works so hopefully i'm not making this too complicated guys but you know this is how it works and if you've been you know wondering how it works i i, I thought like this would be something really valuable for you to know if you are getting started with conversation ai or have been playing around with it for a while and then you you've started using it so hopefully that made sense and now you can think of your own implementation in your mind and then just map it and then just imp implement it i have done it multiple times i have implemented multiple uh, workflows not just for appointment booking for other purposes as well so yeah let me know in the comments if you want me to cover those implementations and i will so hopefully this was useful i will see you in the next one mm -hmm.